So my name is Alex Hughes. Um, I am the People Operations Lead at Bigger Pockets. Step one is they, they get an onboarding guide. It's kind of like our Bigger Pockets 101 before they start. So it's usually sent via email the week before they start. Um, and really it just has a lot of a lot of good to know things about the company as well as what to expect their their first couple weeks. Um, you know, some logistics like where to park, when to come in, do I need to bring lunch, things like that. Uh, then also just kind of what to expect with um, what we call onboarding meetings. During one of the onboarding meetings, um, Mindy, our community manager, she she's great in that she kind of tailors it to the role, um, but it's great because she'll go through kind of, you know, what kind of our why and our purpose of the company. And she'll go through and see, you know, how, you know, relating it to people and not just a product. So relating it to our community and say, you know, how, how we're really helping and influencing our community of, you know, over 1.3 million members. Like, how are we impacting them? Um, so she's great because she'll tailor it again to each, each new team member and kind of um, relate it back to your role and how you kind of fit into the puzzle. Another way that we try to foster those connections with um, existing team members and our new team members is through a new initiative that we recently started, um, which are onboarding leads. Even though our company is pretty small at this point, we want to make sure that we are building from now until we get bigger, that we keep this same you are joining us and we care about you. You're not just like an employee that's starting and now we forget about you. Um, it's really guiding them throughout the first week, the first month of just making sure that they feel a part of our company. First day, it's usually walk them around the office, make sure that they know exactly where everything is so that they're not walking into the kitchen and don't know where to put their lunch and things like that. Um, also, just introducing them to everybody in the company, um, introducing them to their team. Normally, I, you know, take them aside and I just like want to know about their life. Skip the work stuff and just let's let's figure out each other so that you know who I am and I know who you are. Um, and then I think that just makes everybody just feel comfortable that they're not walking into a stuffy workplace. When you start a position at a company, that onboarding process is what keeps people there. And if they don't feel like they're a part of a family and a culture and a community, it's kind of it can be detrimental to a company. So it's very important to me that I get to be a part of that process and help people um, get excited about working at our company and making sure that they feel like this is a company that they wanna be at for a long time.